a little quieter. Coming home. Hey, Chevy. How you doing? Wiener, I see you over there. Hey, Chevy. Buddy, how you been? Let's wrap you up there. There, like a little wiener burrito. There you go. Brett is out getting a few groceries. I've been home for a little while. Where's the lights? There they are. Theo's sleeping upstairs, so I figure I should be a little bit more quiet down here. So that was a quick little zip around. We did it all in one day. We had just barely, barely enough time to get it all done. But it's possible. So if I start in Kenora, I get loaded first thing in the morning. I think I was the third truck to get loaded. Uh, I tried to be first, but man, these these other drivers, man, you guys are on the ball. It's hard. You're setting the bar high. <laughs> I was third in the gate, third to get loaded. Then I rushed down to Brainerd, got unloaded same day. Like I said, six-hour drive south. And then from there, I just came back empty. It's about another five, six-hour drive home, empty. Uh, no loads for the rest of this week. I'm leaving again on Sunday. Head back to Kenora. Do another one of those uh, on the same day on Monday. And then after that, I head down south towards Burlington, Iowa again. We'll load there Tuesday afternoon. And then head to Saskatchewan with that load. Unload that Tuesday afternoon. Probably Thursday, first thing in the morning. And hopefully I can get one or two more loads in. That would be awesome. Even after that Burlington load, I could be done for the week and be alright. But if I can squeeze another one in there to make up for this last week, that would be awesome be a really good week for me but uh oh well, we'll see what happens so this whole week we've sort of just been moving past the loss of diesel but you know i don't want to say it gets easier every day but you become sort of more you know this uh friend i've had in my life for 13 years is suddenly just gone i think you know we'll be able to put more closure to it i think once we pick up his ashes and that should be in about a week or so, I'm hoping. Uh, they're cremating him, putting him in a nice urn, and with his name engraved on it. And uh, he can come home with us again. We're going to make a video, don't worry. That, that'll be a special day. Uh, Britt was saying maybe we should go pick him up in the Big Sammy. You know, sort of like his last ride. His last ride home. It's not, I'm not going to take his ashes with me on the road or anything that's way too precious to me to risk. What if I got in, like, the worst happened? I got into an accident or something? Or what if something happened? My dogs are bouncing around upstairs. I'm just going to have to go get them to calm down. One second. Guys. You guys, I got all excited because Britt got home. So how'd it go? Yeah. Food. Oh. Yeah. Dropped off a present to Amanda. It's her birthday. Oh, yeah. Chevy, you did actually pretty good. You didn't even really bark. You just scrambled like a madman. That's that's improvement. It's getting there. Mm -hmm. All right, just a Glad we still got them, you know? It makes it a little bit easier. <clears throat> yeah. We got to go for a family walk today. Oh. We went for a walk about town. Wiener. Was it you? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> got pills stuck in my throat. Oh, that's not where it goes. Now's not the time to play, Chevy. Just wait. Wait till your brother's up. Okay, gotta unload some groceries. Okay, I'll help. I had to fix this flooring. Uh, we were wondering why it was 
bowing a little bit. So I pulled it up to see it was underneath and it turns out, I guess some of the owners before us must have had an overflowing tub or something and they had water damage underneath here, but it was fixed. There's no mold, it was fixed properly, but it does leave a little, you know, dip there. I was wondering why it wasn't perfectly level. How could the subfloor not be perfectly level? So that was something that should have been disclosed to us in the sale and they didn't disclose it to us. So we reached out and uh, the lawyers are saying that, well, it's too late to go after them for that now. We would have to take it to court and it would be cheaper just to fix it. Like just cut out the subfloor, put a new piece of subfloor in to level it out rather than taking them to court over it and making them pay for it. But still, I didn't really like it that because uh, there's a special section on when you sell a house in Canada, you have to disclose if there's any known water damage. They didn't disclose that. You got everything you needed? Everything you I think so. Yeah. So we have these. Uh, you guys ever tried these? It's Corona Sunbrew. It's non alcoholic, like dealkalized beer. Uh, it's actually really good. You can get it at Costco up here for super cheap. And it, it tastes pretty good. I mean, it's not the same as real beer, obviously. It's near beer, fake beer, but. Uh, was it a pretty good price at uh, Superstore? No, very expensive at Superstore. Oh. Only buy it at Costco or else you get, you get ripped off. Oh. Steinbeck area needs a Costco really badly. It would make money. But I don't like going to Costco in the city because they're way too busy. They're building a new one in Headingley, which will sort of ease the burden of the other ones. But they built one out here. They make a lot of money. It doesn't help us out much. Um, She's okay, Chevy, don't worry. So, uh, Theo is moving up into big boy diapers. Look at this. Pull-ups. I don't know when we're gonna start on those, but she's got a plan. We're gonna follow that plan. And she says she's gonna start potty training him in January. Because we're hoping to have another one next year, we'll see. Nothing to announce to you yet. Uh, nothing even close to an announcement. We're still just hopeful for another one. And if we were to uh, conceive soon, that means we'd have another one uh, like end of next summer. And she's hoping to have Theo potty trained by then. Uh, we'll see if we can do that, but... Uh, you know. I guess that's the first step. Oh, yeah. See, I'm a first-time parent. I've, he's my, my first, so this is all a learning experience for me. Let's see. Okay, so they still got the Velcro on the sides like that, but you can just pull them up. I guess that's when you easier to change that way. All-around stretch. Yeah, reclosable sides. Oh, pre-fastened. Oh, okay. Up to 12-hour protection. Wow. It'd be pretty full after 12 hours, yes. What should get? Let's check to see what she got. I didn't get any snacks this time because well, mm. I don't need them and you don't really eat them anymore. Okay. I've lost, officially lost over 30 pounds now. So I started at 228, I was at 196 this morning. That's 32 pounds. What? I'm envious. I've lost like six, and that's running around after a toddler by himself and barely eating because I have no time to anymore. <laughs> no metabolism. It's not easy. I do my fasting while I'm on the road because. Uh, when you're hungry, you can turn into a bit of a bear. At least I can, I get grumpy when I'm hungry. So when I'm at home, I eat normally, but I do all the fasting on the road. Smart man. That's not as easy for you, like, cause when I go on the road, she's not, she's not alone. 
she's still got to take care of Theo. So that wouldn't work the same way. Yeah, when you have a toddler, it's very time consuming. You cannot take care of yourself very well. So you pretty much just eat when you have time to, if you have time to. Sometimes I don't get dinner until 11. Sometimes I don't get a sip of coffee till 1 p.m. <laughs> so you just make it work whenever you can, especially when you're alone. Mm -hmm. A lot of stay-at-home moms will understand, especially those who have traveling significant others. Have we, speaking of Theo, have we shown them your arm yet? I don't person? think so. It's not Since moisturized it's right now, but... Focus on that. That is. And it was turned out amazing. Yeah. She did a beautiful job. I think it looks great. I love it. I can't wait to get more, but they're expensive, so it won't be for a long time. <laughs> yeah. The next one might be diesel, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I will definitely be getting that beautiful nose print tattooed on me. Yeah. It was very special. When uh, Diesel comes back, or when we uh, take him home and pick up his ashes, uh, there's also going to be uh, his paw prints and his nose prints. And something I've learned recently is that a dog's nose print is the same as your fingerprints. Each one's unique to that dog. They're all different. So, Britt might have that as part of her next one, maybe. Oh yeah. Would the tattoo artist be able to get the nose print actually like accurate though? Yeah, she'll just have to draw it by hand. Oh wow, that would be difficult. That sounds expensive. Back down in the basement here, have I shown you since we switched things around? Theo's playroom used to be down here, right? And uh, we've changed this into our workout room. So we bought a Bowflex off our friends Marvin and Amanda that in here. We've got our treadmill there. We still need to move a few things over into Theo's new playroom. I should have done that already. That should be done. But you got a TV there for when you're on the treadmill. You got a, a mirror right there for when you want to look at yourself and all your gains. Look at this. I'm just swimming in this sweater now. Hey, the sweater used to fit me pretty snugly. Hey, look at that. Is it even focusing? Hey, look at this. I'm gonna have to get all new clothes again. I had a whole bunch of uh, large size, because I used to be a large, and I had a whole bunch of clothes, and then I got fat, and I didn't fit them anymore. I never thought I'd lose the weight, so I gave them all away. I gave them to like a, a thrift store, so somebody benefited off them, obviously, which is awesome. But uh, I need them back. <laughs> I need to, now I've got to go buy all new clothes again. And Britt's telling me like, why? Why'd you give them away? I never thought I'd be this thin again. So now I'm, I'm sort of between an XL and a large. I guess I'm going to be a large again. I would fit large, but yeah, the sweater looks really big on me now. Oh well. And then we moved Theo's playroom down over here, which I like a lot better because it's right by the the living area, the family family room here, so we can sit here. I'm just showing him his uh, showing them his new playroom. Oh, it's awesome! We still need to move that basket uh, and the sign from in there. I forgot about that until I showed them now. But uh, we'll get to it. this is his new playroom. Mm -hmm. That light gets brighter; it just needs to warm up. I don't know why it starts off so dim, but it gets brighter. Yeah. So that's the hide a bed. So it's also a guest room. So when we have guests come over, we pull the bed out and uh, they actually have a room to stay in instead of just being, you know, down the hall in this dark corner of our basement with no emergency exit. Yeah. So now uh, Theo has a much, oh, it's a softer floor as well, a softer rug. So that's better and when we have guests over or even when Theo's playing down here if there ever was an emergency there's a nice big window they can crawl out of we got all those new stickers or his old stickers in here yeah I think I'm gonna get some more too some bluey ones maybe some PJ mask ones really mix it up you know bluey yeah I'm not a big fan of PJ mask I don't know what that Theo is. is 
Yeah, Bluey's better. Or I'm just, I'm not going to Peppa Pig. He loves Peppa Pig. I can't stand what? that show. Okay. I have a question for all of you, though, who watch Bluey, all you Bluey lovers. Did you also think that Bluey was a boy for the longest time? That would make sense, right? Because Bluey is the same color as the dad. And Bingo is the same color as the mom. So I thought Bingo was the girl, Bluey was a boy. Bluey's been a girl this whole time. <laughs> why does she look like a boy? Why, does she, why is she blue? And why is it the same color as her dad? Why is it so confusing? I have so many questions for you, Australia. My sister looks like my dad. And she's a girl. Okay. Fair. Just genetic mm -hmm. traits, man. <laughs> Bluey's a girl. I didn't know this for the longest time. But, uh, yeah, it's a cartoon from Australia. And if any of you know Australians, they're hilarious people. They're very if, clever. If you, yeah, if you know one in real life, hang out with them for a while. They are so much fun. They are hilarious. <laughs> Just the funniest people you'll meet. They really are. They're much yeah. wittier than the rest of us yeah. in America. We can't compare. We pale in comparison when it comes to comedy. <laughs> Every Australian I've known has just been, oh, awesome to hang around with. Yep, me too. Anyways, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I'm gonna wrap it up. It's probably getting pretty long already, so. Thanks for hanging out. We'll be at home for a couple of days. We'll leave on Sunday. And we'll probably put together a video or two while I'm at home here yet. And fill you guys in on what's going on, so. So oh, later. we're showing my hair. I didn't want to show my hair. Uh, I was waiting for her to mention it. I forgot about it. Yeah, it was. It turned out a little bit darker than she had uh, planned. It's supposed to fade. Hopefully it does. It's supposed to go back to my natural color, but we'll see. I don't think it looks bad at all. I think it looks good. Looks like I'm trying to be like the front man for an emo band. Are you kidding me? Well, you're pulling it off great. Cause tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. <laughs> Leave a comment down below if you get that reference. <laughs> My emo wife. Jeez. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs>